Right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before we get into this, because this is Godzilla vs. Kong news, I've got brand new merch. It is linked underneath the video. It is Godzilla vs. Kong inspired. Um, so check it out. It's, there's some really cool designs. I'm super, super proud of it. Um, I don't think anything can quite top Space Jeebus and uh, Pickled Snoke. But I really do like these designs. They're more serious. They're not tongue-in-cheek. They are very, very cool. So check them out. It helps support me. Um, and also you get to wear something really cool on opening day and just lounging around and showing your support for a really cool franchise, I guess. Um, but that being said, let's get into it. So Warner Brothers releases a new official plot synopsis for Godzilla vs. Kong. There's a lot to geek out on here. Um, I'm probably going to ramble in this video and you'll know why. So, this is very interesting. Th there's a lot of news here, to be fair. Like, they've, they've CinemaCon's cancelled, so that's not happening. Um, I think the licensing expo is now cancelled as well. So, there's a lot of reveals that we were due to get that we're no longer going to get now. Um, which is a huge shame, because I really love these reveals. I bang up for the reveals. Like, it, it helps us kind of you know, build up the theories and things like that and talk about it and it's really fun. I really like that about movies. Um, but what they have done is a new synopsis. So it's interesting because it, it's somewhat different to the original one that we had revealed. And it may indicate that there's been some changes to the plot. So we now have new plot synopsis to direct. The new plot outlines, uh, makes reference to revealing clues to the Titans, the monsters' origins within the MonsterVerse. And apparently there's a human conspiracy which aims to rid the Earth of all Titans, both good and bad. Now, we'll read it out and then I'll get, I'll, we'll get into my thoughts. So legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash on the big screen in a spectacular battle for the ages. As Monarch embarks on a perilous mission into fantastic, uncharted terrain, unearthing clues to the Titans' very origins. A human conspiracy threat I'm trying to do it dramatic. Uh, a human conspiracy threatens to wipe the creatures out, both good and bad, from the face of the earth forever. Um, now, the old one was, in a time when monsters walk the earth, humanity's fight for its future sets Godzilla and Kong on a collision course that will see the two most powerful forces of nature on the planet collide in a spectacular battle for the ages. Monarch embarks on a perilous mission into uncharted terrain and unearths clues to the Titan's origins, which is, again, we've had that before. A human conspiracy threatens to wipe the creatures, uh, both good and bad, from the face of the earth. Now, it seems... Seems to indicate um, that it was more like humanity fighting and stuff like that, you know. Whereas this is, you know, the, the new synopsis is quite different. Um, it's like as Monarch, I mean, it's literally just reworded, I know. But it does change the, I guess, the inflection behind it, the kind of context. Um, and I do think as well... I do think, like, this whole Titan's Origins business, like, what is that going to do? What is that going to mean? And like, I never really spent that much time getting into it when it was originally revealed. I don't think I did, anyway. Like, what does that mean? What could that mean? Um, you know, in, are we going to be seeing aliens? I don't know, because the thing about this franchise now is it's been slowly getting more and more bonkers. Um, as we as we've been progressing, and I don't, I'm not saying that's a bad thing or, or anything like that, but you know, getting a little bit more bonkers does open it up to the whole alien aspect, which would be a shame if they went down that route. Um, and I know they've already done it with uh, King Ghidorah, but down the route with respect to like the other Titans being aliens, I think that'd be a shame because I really like the fact that they're. They're of the earth. Um, I think there's something cool about that. I think it's also cool that out there, there's, there's you, you, you imagine now it's the implication of King Ghidorah is that in this universe, there are multiple planets with multiple gigantic creatures on because obviously King Ghidorah came from one of them. So I like that. Um, 
But I think this also, in, in fairness, I think this also tells us, and again, like the first one did, that they're really going to be playing up into the Hollow Earth. They're massively going to be going into the Hollow Earth um, in this movie. And I think that's really good as well. I think that's a really, really good idea. Um, I mean, literally just down there on my little bookshelf, we've got the uh, Kong Skull Island making of art book. And we've got the uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters making of as well. There's some such amazing artwork in, well, in both of them, um, but specifically in Godzilla King of the Monsters because we, we started to kind of learn more about what was, what was down underground, where Godzilla was going, um, and I really, really liked that. So, like I said, somewhat different. Legends collide as Godzilla, as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful titans forces of nature, clash on the big screen in a spectacular battle for the ages. In a time when monsters walk the earth, humanity's fight for its future sets Godzilla and Kong on a collision. So this is the, the massive differentiation, is the fact that this one here seems to indicate that it's humanity pushing Godzilla and Kong to fight. Whereas here it says, legends collide. And then it almost says, as a subplot, Monarch is now on also on another mission into uncharted terrain, unearthing clues about the Titan's origin. Um where there's another conspiracy which will threaten to kill them all. Whereas here, it's literally... Humanity's fight for its future sets Godzilla and Kong on a collision course that will see the two most powerful forces fight. Um, whilst Monarch also does this. Do you see? Like, it, it's subtle, but it's definitely different. Um, I don't think I conveyed that properly when I was reading it out. But there's there's definitive difference there. Um, and then the other thing is that... Look, obviously... Delays and things like that. Likely that the trailer is going to be delayed. Because Godzilla vs. Kong trailer release date delayed with cancellation of CinemaCon. Apparently, anyway. As expected, this year's CinemaCon has been cancelled. Due to the impending fear surrounding the COVID-19. Um, which was just recently declared, uh, you know, a big issue. Can't really talk too much about it. Get demonetised. Um, now, it was previously stated that Warner Brothers would have a prominent presence at CinemaCon. Which, yeah, that was going to be a given. And will be promoting their 2020 film slate, of which Godzilla vs. Kong was a major part of. A trailer preview was planned to be screened at the event to attendees. I don't think that's confirmed. I don't think that's confirmed. I'm pretty sure that is, like, rumour. But I don't know. I'm fairly certain that's rumour. And, like, it's highly likely, by the way, FYI. But it's still not confirmed, is it? Um... Now, it does say, there's, with no word regarding public version being released online, Godzilla vs. Kong keeps taking hits. With a delayed release date initially being nearly a year and more recently now showing the debut. They're, they're framing this, Godzilla movies is framing this as something really, really bad. I, I don't think there's anything bad about this at all. Um, now, obviously, because they're saying that it's being shared with James Bond, I don't think that's an issue. I don't think they're going to take any issues with that at all. The cancellation of CinemaCon only adds to the film's inability to generate adequate hype before it's released this fall. So it's so fatalistic, man. It's not even started the marketing ramp yet. What are you talking about? Calm down. Like, it'd be, it would be different. It would be super, super different. Also, as oh my god. Jesus. You you guys are going to like me being so positive about this. But seriously, how... how, how this doesn't make any sense. Warner Brothers, um, Godzilla keeps taking hits. The cancellation of CinemaCon only adds to the film's inability to generate hype. How? If it was only to be screened to attendees, it was going to be private. No one was going to see that trailer. So, no, that doesn't affect it at all. In fact, we're none the wiser. It doesn't make any difference. I think the hype's still going to be there. What? Oh, my God. It'd be different if they started the marketing ramp up and then delayed it. Because then you get people hyped, delaying it and suspending it. And, yeah, people get a bit... Um, it goes out of consciousness from there, really. The hype does, you know, the hype train does leave. Warner Brothers may choose to release their trailer online, uh, after all, regardless of a convention exclusive, but no word so far suggests that it is, in fact, their plan. I don't think so. What? Uh, super baffling. This this article's crazy. Um, anyway, look, I, 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 don't be worried. Don't be worried at all. Um, new plot sounds interesting. It sounds like they've reworked some of it. But I'd love to hear your thoughts, so let me know down below in the comment section. If you are new here, do hit subscribe. Stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Thanks so much. Take care.